This is Woodhaven School. I'm Teacher Heidi. We are a cooperative preschool that is parent-run and we are a nature-based preschool and an outdoor kindergarten. Hi, Jay. I think it's important to give kids access to nature and in today's society it's hard to find that or to create it in a safe way. We're really lucky at our school to have such a beautiful outdoor space in the middle of Beaverton. We have a dedicated space that we use every day uh, with natural boundaries that the children are aware of. And then beyond that, there are some nature trails that lead down to a wetland. The outside time for the younger students tends to be less structured. Their desire to explore and play is simpler and um, to be celebrated. Whereas with the older students, once they developmentally become able to do more academically minded things, they want to know everything about the red-tailed hawk and they want to write it all down. So where do you think the owl lives? We have a three-year-old program. They are called the Rosebuds. They're outside 25% of their time. We start out in the classroom, but we go outside every day for up to an hour, regardless of the weather. Our Sunflower class is made up of four-year-olds, and they're outside half of the time. Their Monday-Wednesday schedule reflects the same schedule they had and the routine that they had when they were three years old in the classroom with one hour of outside time. But on Fridays, they're outside all day. The outdoor kindergarten happens from noon to four, Monday through Thursday, and it's entirely outside. In the outdoor kindergarten, the students go to the wetland every day. And there, we're able to observe the mallards and the beavers and the seasonal changes as they occur. We're able to do a lot of science and math naturally occurring in our day in the garden. Um, as we measure the length of the worms and compare the sizes of the red wigglers and the night crawlers. We enjoy using nature journals that the children write in and they're able to share what they have learned in a way that's most meaningful to them. All of those things are happening in a really natural way so that they might uh, not even be aware of the learning as it occurs. Well, as a Waldorf inspired program, we celebrate the wonder and the awe of Mother Nature. We build fairy houses and look for clues that gnomes have been to our garden. We explore the worlds of music and art, and we create a learning space that is nurturing and full of joy. I think most adults today reflect on their own childhood as time spent outside where they were building forts and digging worms and taking bike rides and visiting the park and coming home at dark. But today's child doesn't get that opportunity. They're not often allowed to leave their fenced-in backyard and a parent doesn't feel good about letting them run around the neighborhood without any supervision. The sense of wonder and awe that's natural to childhood is being lost. We explore the woods and play games and dig in the garden and we hike through the wetlands and through all of these things they gain independence through nature. They essentially learn how to learn. They have learn how to seek out answers through self-guided discovery. When children outgrow Woodhaven, they leave here with a foundation of respect for each other, for animals and insects and for the earth. They have confidence and independence, and it will help them succeed in their future education. Well, we certainly have found a wonderful spot of mud.